Hey guys, just want to treat the Apple here, and today I've got the review for you guys of the Nyko Raven PS3 controller. So as you can see, the the joysticks are configured like the Xbox for many who like that. So it's great to see something like this that allows you to have an Xbox like controller experience on a PS3. So just taking a look at the features here, it has a soft feel, multi-axis, it comes in at 260 grams, has vibration, and also have motion sensing capabilities. Taking a look at the side, it looks a lot like an Xbox 360 controller in terms of the form factor and the shape of the grips, which are much more ergonomic than the PS3 controllers in my opinion, which I don't really like. Taking a look at the back, as you can see the triggers do also look a lot like the Xbox 360, and these are also configurable, which I'll show you later. It uses a wireless USB receiver, so this is a wireless controller, however it does require a USB dongle that is included as you can see. Now let's go ahead and just show you guys the ergonomics. Overall, I found the joysticks, um, they're decent, but for shooters, I wouldn't really recommend this as they're very, very stiff in my opinion. For other games, it should be fine, but I just found these buttons rather stiff, but for $20, I didn't have huge expectations. Overall, the ergonomics are very, very good, and these are very comfortable controllers coming from a, a PS3 controller. Maybe not beating the P Xbox controllers, however, these are very, very close and overall felt very good after long periods of use. Taking a look at it side by side with an Xbox 360 controller, as you can see, it is still pretty big. However, the Xbox controller is bigger, but I found the er ergonomics, like I said, very, very close and they both felt very good in my hands. The joysticks have a lot in common and also the triggers as well. And in terms of battery life, I got just about 20 hours of gameplay, which is pretty good. And it also charges via mini USB, which is also included. Taking a look at the bottom, another cool feature is the tr trigger switch. So all you need to do is flick the switch and it allows you to reverse your trigger or your bumper. For example, in Call of Duty on the PS3, you use your bumper to shoot, while on the Xbox you use your trigger. In this, you have two options and you can pick however you want by switching the switch. That's pretty much it for this video guys, overall this controller is great and the only thing I have to complain about is the stiff joysticks. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.